Hello and welcome to Ministry of JavaScript. In this video, we are going to be looking at that how can we deal with the API integration inside our JavaScript program. So, for example, if you want to play with REST APIs and you want to, you know, you are receiving any kind of response from the server and you want to show that response inside your J JavaScript page or web page. Uh, so, how can you do that? Well, that is very easy. For that, we do have a function which is called fetch and fetch is a web API function well basically it, it is a browser web API function and fetch is a promise function it returns you a promise and whenever you are playing with promise then do wrap it up inside dot then dot catch or async await using try catch right Another thing, basically, fetch has two params. The first one is URL, and the second one is object. And that object has properties like method, request body, or headers, etc. Right. So right over here, I do have a API URL, which is returning us the list of data. So let me come over here. As you can see, that I'm getting a list of, uh, you know of post with title, ID, user ID and the status. And what I want to do is I want to show all the titles inside our JavaScript, you know, program inside our web page. So let's use the fetch method. You can do something like this, fetch in, inside the first pa parameter as an argument, you can pass the URL. And then inside an object, you can do method equal to get why i'm sending you know why i'm assigning this get uh, into this fetch method because this uh, api belongs to the get method right and i don't want to pass any kind of headers in it i don't, I don't want to pass any kind of request body in it so let's come over here now let's wrap it up inside dot then well basically this fetch method will return you a json so you can uh, get the JSON like API data API data dot JSON right so if you want to convert this JSON into an object you can use another dot then block or dot then method and inside this you will receive your JSON in a form of an object so let me refresh and then you can see that we are receiving all our data from the server so i want to show this inside our div with an id of data well for that let's come over here so this one is an array so we can loop through it res dot for each and data and let's create a constant let variable let html and let me come over here html plus equal to you know this data dot title right and once the loop is over i want to do what i want to do is i want to append all the data inside our div so for that i will do get element by id data dot in our html equal to html so let's refresh our page then you can see that we are getting all our data from the api and then we have successfully you know looped through the all the response all uh, you know all the elements of that response array and then we have pasted that response inside our div which has an id of data well this is how you can deal with the apis inside your javascript program and another thing i want to show you uh, that uh, for example i have shown you a you know example of get api if you are playing with post then you can just come over here and change the method and give it a url and for uh, for example you are assigning you are passing any kind of 
a property is inside your request body then for that you can pass it in inside the body and that object will always be a json so if you want to convert any object into a json then you can use json.stringify json inside the json.stringify you can pass your object so let me come over here and let's request body equal to email let's say david at the rate gmail.com well this is not my original email and password is going to be one two three one two three one two three right so let's pass our object ins inside the json dot stringify and then let's come over here and console dot log ref and inside the url let's change the url so when I come over here then you can see that it is getting it is giving me error missing email or username well basically whenever you are dealing with the post request then and you are sending the data in, uh, in a form of JSON then you can do something like this header inside the headers content type is going to be you know application slash json so you are telling uh, uh, javascript that we are sending the data in a form of json so let me refresh our page then you will notice that it has returned me an error that user not found it means that we are you know sending our wrong data to a server so in case if we have regress.n let's come over here login successful then we do have a cor correct email and password let's refresh you know let's copy it inside the email let's paste it inside a password and let's paste it so let me refresh it then you will notice that it has successfully returned me the response in a form of token so this is how you can play with the rest api's integration inside your javascript program so this is it from this video if you have any question you can drop into the comments i will make sure to answer each and every one of them so i will see you in the next one have a nice day